It's a well-known problem in Westboro that needed some clever thinking to solve. After years of frustration and traffic snarl-ups resulting from tractor trailers hitting the low-clearance East Main Street Bridge, town officials have finally reached an agreement with train transportation company CSX that should resolve the situation. That solution? A drawbridge. The proposal isn't exactly as far-fetched as it may seem. That's because the East Main Street Bridge was originally installed as a drawbridge back in 1840, when large trolleys traveled into Westboro, piled high with materials critical to the town's sleigh maker industry. Most people are familiar with drawbridges over waterways, which are retracted to allow passage for ships that are too large. This new bridge will be designed in a similar fashion, so that it can be easily raised for tractor trailers that are too tall to fit safely underneath it. The town will be utilizing a drawbridge firm from the island of Sodor, which boasts some of the most well-known experts in the field of train depots, stations, and bridges. According to a statement from the bridge consultants, the town will continue to use the overheight vehicle sensor system. The laser warning system recently installed that measures a truck's height before it has a chance to hit the bridge. In this case, that sensor will trigger the drawbridge. The new bridge will be designed using a turbo encabulator, a complex process explained to us by consultant Dr. Emmett Brown. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fan. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus o deltoid type placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Moreover, whenever fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplenoration. Police Chief Alan Gordon said his department regularly receives reports of trucks either striking the bridge or approaching the bridge and coming to a halt when they realize they may not clear the underpass. The traffic backup and the associated costs can be significant which is why the chief was thrilled with the proposed solution. As police chief for the town of Westboro, I think the idea of a drawbridge on the East Main Street Railroad Bridge is a great idea. Knowing how many times that bridge gets hit, the disruption that we have to our resources, having to tie the police officers up there for hours on end, and in addition to that, it affects our school children. If they're late to school in the morning, it affects how much learning they're doing or coming home at night. The poor parents are sitting there waiting for their children to come home, and they're stuck in traffic on East Main Street. So I think this is a wonderful idea, and I'm looking forward to it. The agreement was signed on April 1, 2016, and work is expected to begin at some point and be completed sometime thereafter.